you are listening to Blue Sea Worldwide Podcast. Fighting for justice, for freedom rights. I'm standing for the All over the world, we just want justice. Man, woman, boy, and girl, justice. Our race is holding hands, justice. marching all through this land, justice. praying for a change, oh, hoping God will heal the land. Justice. Supposed to be united, we shine, but divided, we have fallen. I'm fighting for justice. All over the world, we just want justice. Man, woman, boy, and girl, justice. all these injustices, justice. it has to see. Police brutality oh, throughout the land of the free. Justice. Supposed to be the home of the brave. Justice. So why our love was being wrongly taken away. Fighting for justice, Access code accepted. This conference is being recorded. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. If God's been good to you, and he's brought you from a mighty long way, and you know for a fact, without a shadow of a doubt in your heart, that you never would have made it without him, you need to get God some praise. Get some praise. Uh-huh. Get some praise. That's right. Get some praise. Get some praise. Get some praise. That's right. Giving me breath. breath. If it wasn't for the grace of God, I never would have woke up by myself. Tell who really did the man that called that the rain didn't make the sun come out. That's right. Listen to Jerry Worst Live Worldwide Podcast. Ain't a man alive, turn water to wine, cast out a demon and kept them into the swine. My God is great. I don't care what you say. He's been good to me. Don't you see my face? Big cool, ain't smiling. Ain't never down. Not as long as I got my guard around. You don't believe in God? Who's at this only son? Die for your sins and your life is done. Well, I'm rep to Christ. I'm not the knight. So when it comes to a beast, I tell my life. What God has done, I brought me out. The pits of hell, call the jail cell. Never to return. Out of nine, my life. I'm in the back door. I'm fighting for my religion. I'm making out want no more. Hitting you with these bullets. Going just where I've been. You don't want to go. That's something God will make. That's though. Right. He's truthful and faithful. Like them two little legs that you're walking That's on. Walking and them on. arms you got. And them eyes you see. I'ma praise them for eternity. I touch souls. Save lives. Best employer. Jesus Christ. Praise them. Uh-huh. Get your praise. That's right. Yes, jump into light 
You know that I'm ready, I'm loving here, no clicks. Kinda lift them up, he's filling up my cups. Looking at my problems like, what's up? No daddy got me, confidence turned up. I believe in bliss, bliss, bliss. So I've never been looking up. I know what my blessings are from. Yeah, yeah. I am just stay in the sun. Yeah, yeah. So I try hard not to think about it, cause I know we got it. Just lift my hands up high. Give my praises to God, yeah. I know what my blessings are from. Yeah, yeah. I am just stay in the sun. So I try hard not to think about it Cause I know we got it Just lift my hands up high Give our praises to God Yeah You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. We're grateful for who God is. That that list of names given, holy and mighty and all of that, that's just the beginning of things. When Jesus was jousting with the Pharisees... Jesus made it clear to them that when you start talking about me, you're talking about something that surpasses Abraham. Because before Abraham was, he said, my name is I Am. In other words, when you open up the book to look at all of the good things, that a person can possibly be mighty and triumphant and and awesome and holy. He says that that's just the beginning of it. He had to close the book when trying to describe himself and just said, I am. Start your roll of names of all the things I am. That's just the beginning. There is no single word that encompasses all that God is. That's why when you are on his side, when you make a commitment to him, you can't possibly lose. Because he just am. Not not was, that would signify that at some point he started being that and at some point he might stop being that. He says, go back to the beginning of time and the page before that I still am. Go off into the future and and I am. I I just always am. I'm not confined to any space of time. I'm not just one picture. I'm the whole movie. I go back before the movie starts. I just am. That's why in John where he says in the beginning was the word. It really isn't in the beginning. There's no definite article the there in the manuscript. It simply is in beginning was the word. And the reason for that is if you had in the beginning, it would signify at a specific point in time, the beginning, the word was. But when you take out the definite article the, it just says in beginning before the beginning began, I was. And and I guess I'm suggesting that you can't fool God and nothing takes him by surprise because he just always am. He's not stuck in time. That's why he's no older today than he was yesterday. Time signifies that somewhere on the continuum, I'm a little bit closer to the end and a little bit further from the beginning. But when you dwell in eternity, which is outside of time, you're no further away from the beginning today than you were yesterday and no closer to the end tomorrow than you were today. He says at every point, I just am. I can't get any better. I'm not in the process of development. I'm not maturing. When I showed up, which was before time began, I came here as am. 
not, not becoming nothing. I just am. Complete fool. Everything you need. That's why whatever you need today, I'm suggesting he am. If it's money, he am. If it's peace, he am. If it's health, he am. He's not going to be. He is. Right now, what you need. Do you believe it? Praise God. You're listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. All right, what's up, Facebook? Mic check, mic check. How's everybody doing out there? I hope you guys are all right. Don't hurt nobody, y'all. Wow. Streets. It's crazy out there, y'all. New York, California, all over the country that was baked in red. Woo. Man, be careful out there. It's going to be crazy tonight. But this is Jerry Woods Live Worldwide at Positive Power 21.org. Christian Media, Double XL Power Radio. Right, thank you for tuning in tonight. We got Tashara coming up at 10.30 and Sheila Piper Moore coming up at 11 Eastern Standard Time. Amen. Yeah, the day was crazy, y'all. Woo! Almighty God, I pray for my friends. I ask you to bring healing to my friends. I ask you to correct which needs correcting, heal that which needs healing, touch to which needs your divine touch, God. I ask you, could you give my friends a new season of vibrant health, energy, and enthusiasm? And I thank them, dear Lord. I thank you for everything they are and for all their gifts and talents. I thank you for the many things they have given to others and for all the kindness they have shown me. Lord, at the beginning of time, you breathed your life into creation. May you breathe your life into us now so that each step we take filled with your faith, each thought you think is filled with your hope, and each moment we live is filled with your love. May we fully know your life and fully live in your love. This day and every day. Amen. Thank you, everybody, for joining us and welcome to Positive Power. You're listening late night with Jerry Bush Live and my co host from Atlanta, Georgia, the Peachy State. Yes, we're talking about Joyce the Faith Walker White. Bam! Oh, I forgot my ring. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power, 21? It's going to be all right, y'all. God got us. And he sends his holy angels by your side every day. Just open your ears and listen to them. Ask them to help you. Remember, Philippians 4, my favorite, 4, 7. Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again. Rejoice and let everyone see that you are unselfish and considerate in all you do. Remember the Lord is coming soon. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God your needs and don't forget to thank Him for His answers. If you do this, if you do this, you will experience God's peace, which is far more wonderful than the human mind can understand Woo, his peace y'all let's talk to him pray to him I mean just sit down real quick and spit it out I mean get down into it y'all meditate on your word meditate on your prayer take some time out just meditate just take it all in y'all and it's gonna be alright alright can you feel the power the power the power 21. All right, y'all. We're going to have a great show tonight. We got two music, musicians here, um, um, artists, gospel artists. That's right. We got Tashara. I think that's how you say her name. Tashara, Tio Boykin, and Sheila Moore Piper. That's right. She got video. We've been rocking her video. If you had an opportunity to see the first hour from 9 o'clock till 10, you court Pastor Bella. Pastor, oh, I'm sorry. First Lady Pastor 
Bomber Della Bello. That's Rhonda, Pastor Rhonda. She was uh, hosting a Bible radio show on the Blessed Network and Positive Power, Double XI. So if you miss it, we're, we're, it's, it's, it's saved out there. It should be saved on our, on our timeline. So check it out. It's a good show. And also don't forget about we played some um, some of the some of the top videos. I got some new videos, top videos, and that's right. And and Sheila Moore Piper was in there. I don't have no video about this, Cheryl. We have to find out if she got one. All right, well she's up at ten thirty, so um, hold tight, Miss Boy Kim. We be right with you. All right. So let me bring my co-host. I didn't even get to check and see if she's here, because I know she's doing her, her acting thing, or she could been shilling up some cars today. I gotta find Sheila's bio. I haven't seen her bio. I see Earl's bio. All right, let me get my girl, my homie, my sister. Where is she? Oh, there's so many people in there, but I see the Faith Walker. What's up, Faith Walker? How you doing? Hey, Jerry. I'm good. Oh, How do I sound? Girl. My bad. My bad. My bad. I forgot the kiss. There's so many buttons to push. All right. What's up, Faith Walker? How you doing? How you doing? I'm good. Just trying to breathe through my nose. Oh, you stuffy up? You got a cold? No, nah, man. It's sinuses. Oh, man. Everybody getting... So you guys get it late there. We get it in September, ragweed. Ragweed. September and oh. last, till it get till the first frost. I think it's dead now. Because I'm all right. I just take the medicine anyway because it's hard to get off of it. <laughs> I need to wait till I got two <laughs> days off, cause I be getting headaches and be thinking <laughs> crazy. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get up. Oh no, don't do that. No, nah, that's how that stuff works when you be on it for a while. It's hard to get up. You feel sick. Yeah, cause matter of fact, when I went to, to the pharmacist to get it, she ran she ran my name on a list. See if I if I got too many. <laughs> she don't know I sneak over to Rite Aid sometimes. Cause see, they don't have no she don't have no Uh-oh. she don't have no computer system. They write it in a notebook. Like they're the only pharmacy oh, really? in the community. Yeah, they crazy. Like, if I go to Walgreens or right there, they're all connected. So they say, oh, no, Mr. Jerry, you had your supply for this month. Can I just buy one pill? Just one pill? Just a half a pill? How much for a half a pill? And man, I be in that oh, bag. Lord. I be going crazy like a junkie up in there. So um, uh-uh. so I, I found a spot that doesn't have a computer. <laughs> I know I'm telling Ooh-wee. myself. I know I need this stuff, man. It's hard, man. For no <laughs> allergy medication. I can't operate. I can't think straight. All right. So Joyce White, you ready to do your birthday club? Because we got we got some guests. We gotta be on time yeah. tonight. We gotta be on time tonight. Well I'm rocking and ready to go. All right, you ready? All right, here's the birthday music. Yeah. All right, y'all. It is November 9th. And guess who has a birthday today? My brother, Richard White. You, you. Happy birthday, Richard. <laughs> also, Troy Bland is celebrating a birthday. Patrick Stinchcomb. LaDerek Barnes. Sharon Peters. We went to uh, elementary school together, and I think high school, too. So she's out in Arizona. So happy birthday, Sharon. And then Reynard E. Burrell. Now, the following celebrities are celebrating birthdays today. We have Chris Jericho. He's 45, and guess what? He's a wrestler. <laughs> and then Cisco is 37, and he's the rapper that sang that song, the thong song, back in the day. He's 37. He used to be my then neighbor. Then we have Nick Lachey. You know he used to be you my neighbor. Him? Yeah, he used to be my neighbor. Oh, he used to be your neighbor? Yeah, I told you I was a baller one Should've time. Should have got an autograph. Like, we used to sell. <laughs> he was in the neighborhood. <laughs> we need his autograph oh, Lord. He's a bum. <laughs> well, he's only he's only thirty seven. Yeah, he just dropped off <laughs> so the he's earth, a didn't young he? Baller. Yeah, they dropped off the earth, didn't he? Yeah. Mm. Uh-uh. Yeah, you're right. We haven't heard from him. You know what? Yeah, you know what? All right. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Then we have Nick Lachey. He's forty two. We have Scarface. He's also a rapper. He's formerly with the Ghetto Boys. He's forty five. We have Eric Dane. Now, he's the actor that plays in Grey's Anatomy. He plays Dr. McSteamy. He's 43 and looks good. 
Then we have Lou Ferrigno, the Hulk. He's 64. Is he? And finally, Donnie McClurkin. Yeah, he's 64. He looks it, too, in his picture. But yeah. I was looking at his picture. He's big dude. <laughs> he's still a big guy, though. Yeah. And then Donnie McClurkin, guess what? He is 56. He's 56. He's celebrating his birthday today. Young boy. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it for me. <laughs> that's it for you, home girl. All right, my sister. Yep. And my people. <laughs> All right, I have what's the day? The day the ninth. Oh man, I was about to call out yep. the eighth. Okay, Theodore Chestnut. Oh man, Theodore called me today. He ain't tell me it was his birthday. That is crazy. Happy birthday, uh-uh. Theodore Chestnut. Happy he's fifty one. He is young. Man, he called me up today. He didn't tell me it was his birthday. Man, I'm gonna get you for that. My boy Wallace Cole birthday today, and Emmanuel Carpenter. Man, I've been knowing him forever. I, he's one of my first friends on the internet when they had um, Yahoo, Yahoo Groups back in 06. Oldest friend. Uh-oh. Joyce Brown birthday today. I know her too. She's a um, she specializes in cleaning up the skin. Moses Calhoun, he was oh, on okay. here. He's 80. Oh, man. I wonder if he's still alive. I haven't heard from him in a while. <laughs> Ars Justin Brahman. Brahman. Bro, man, give me a sandwich. Yeah, his birthday today. And Trevor Vassell, he's 66. Wow, very good. I had seven people. Man, I knew more than half of these people. See, I know a lot of people. All right, I just want to say hello, hello to my sister, Miss Winston is out there. What's up, Winston? We got to hook up. You always tell me you're going to come see me, but you'll never come see me. I'm going to catch you in 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 that hair salon with your hair messed up. Big Earl is here. What's up, Earl White? Tina Superwoman Hobson. Teresa Powell came in and joined us. All right, Paula G. That's my sister on Friday. So we want we want to wish those people many, many more birthdays and we get to shout Yay. you out prayfully. If that's a word. Is that, is that a word? Because it never comes up when I type it. Well, we pray. And we hope we're blessed the next year that Joyce and I are back here on Wednesday night shouting our birthdays again. That's powerful. That's powerful. No, next year their birthday won't be on a Wednesday. It's going to be on a Thursday. um, Oh, oh, that's where you're checking out the calendar. Well, I'll be shouting out with um, with, uh, Superwoman Tina Hobson because we will not change up the order of the co-hosts because if we do, I'll be saying the wrong names. All right, everybody. We're back. We're back after election day. I wonder if I'm out of the, the ah. act. You know, they made us sign this thing that we can't talk about politics and stuff. <clears throat> you know, but I think at a certain time we can. But anyway, I just want to say, oh lord, I was I was um, you know, just promoting the show and listening to the Bible study for Pastor Ron that was on before us. And that's the kind of stuff, y'all. Check it out. When you see me hit up live, y'all, it's going to be something good. Take my word for it. And it was just so good to, today to get um, Theodore's, Theodore Chestnut phone call. You know, even if that would have been the first thing I would have said. Hey, Jerry, it's my birthday. It's my birthday. Now, he just called and said, hey, man, you're doing a great job. Keep doing what you're doing. Aww. So we talked a little business and everything because, you know, we're going to have him on DC Unplugged. Yeah, while everybody home snowed in, we still be able to pipe it in. So, he had a great conversation, man. I, I took his call while I was having dinner, too. You know, I normally don't take nobody's call. But anyway, I hope everybody in the streets is being careful because my, my cousin, well, not my cousin, my nephew, Philip Berrien, hit me up and said, Jerry, Uncle Jerry, you got to check out CNN. The world is going crazy, man. So what? Is they, it? Yeah, he said everybody's upset about Donald Trump, because people believe that they cheated. Because if you look at the way the things were dropping in, it was like so close, but yet you get like twenty-one points from you know from the college thing, whatever that thing. I forgot what it's called. Electoral electoral vote votes. Isn't that crazy how that is? Say like um, that's crazy. You get like all these votes coming out of Florida and California. And if you, and you lose, you don't get jacked. But it's like thousands and thousands of votes, you know. Yep. And but then a yep. little small little place to give like three electoral college votes, 
you know, handful of people come out and vote for you, 200,000, you get your two little points. Man, that is so crazy. But meanwhile, I just think that's crazy. I just think it should be about ac- actual counts. How you feel about that? That's exactly. Not, that's not how you play the lottery. <laughs> Amen. You know, they, they charge you for every number you play. And, uh, you know, you know what I'm saying? Every yep. dollar. That's crazy. Man. It, yep. Mm, I got so much more to say about that, but I'm trying to retire. It, I so. mean, it's, it is yeah. what it is. I know, but people are we upset. Stuck. I thought it was going to be like maybe like 100, 200 people out there in Times Square, man. Because, you know, most of them are tourists. <laughs> But man, it's like a whole, it's like thousands of people. You, you, I'm just like, where the street at? You can't even see the street. It looked like New Year's Day. Did you see it? You oh see wow! It? You got to check no, it out. No, because I'm trying to stay away from that. I didn't even look at the um, election results. I didn't look at none of that. Yeah. I just had a feeling in my gut that she was not going to win. See, that's what happened. You guys, I know didn't vote. So you guys <laughs> didn't take. You guys didn't do the positive power, man. How you going to? When stuff, see, that's how he won. He used the law of attraction and probably his big he dollars sure and, and told the, see, that's the thing why people don't feel comfortable about stuff. Just look at, just think about this. Let's think about this. All right. Just like you watch these cop shows, you got these court judges and you got this guy who got caught on some bogus charge because they couldn't really get him what they want to get him on. And then um, they slipped the judge like a note with some numbers on there. What are you going to do? You're free to go. <laughs> You're free to go. But the next what? Joe Smo had like a little baby charge. Six years and maximum penitentiary. Yep. See, that's, it's crazy. You got the money. Because, I mean, what's stopping you? It's just like a cop. You know, a cop, he's making what, 50, 60,000? And somebody just rolled up and said, dude. No, they don't make that much. Oh, in Baltimore, they do. I, my buddy, I had some friends made 90,000. What? Yeah, yeah, I remember what? they use they use them for special patrols and stuff too. Like they do the ball games, they gotta uh, watch politicians, they gotta do parties, um, babysit. Yeah, yeah they Direct do a lot churches. of stuff. A lot of church, a lot of hospitals hire them, you know, for off duty. But they wear their work regular uniform because they got to carry their service revolver. Yeah, yeah, they, my friends was making some good money, and most of them dudes were living in houses that were four thousand, five thousand square feet. Like one of my friends, he lived out Las Vegas, a big old house, old oh, Vegas, retired major. Yeah. So, yeah, the police do well in the big city, Chicago, New York. Yeah, they do well. They're just trying to stay alive. Now, <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. We're stopping, you know, a, a drug dealer, big time kingpin, operating in a neighborhood. And he said, look, bro, bring your boys over here. I, I, I sent all of y'all kids to college. You just let this thing happen. Cause them guys making millions. Wow. Of, you ever you see the money that some of them drug dealers make? It's not like oh a yeah. hundred dollars a day. Them dudes making like a hundred thousand, a million a day. It's like crazy dollars. Like they got rooms stacked. Up. I seen it when I was living in the city. Ever some guys had like shoe boxes with money just stacked in it, going up a wall. And they were the tennis shoes they purchased. Wow. <laughs> the boxes, yeah. Wow. Cause they can't just cause they couldn't just take the money and just blow it on cars because they they launched an investigation on them, so they had to like use their grandmother's credit and pay her, and pay the <laughs> car note. Yeah, they couldn't just go in and pay sixty, seventy, eighty thousand for a Mercedes. Police gonna be knocking at the door, you know. Whoa. Yeah, and that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. The, the, the police never bothered them guys. They knew who they were. Everybody knew who it was. They gave them hush money. Yeah, you know wow. they did. It's so easy. I mean, the cop making fifty thousand, you can just hand him a hundred grand just like that. Put his kids through college, move them in a better neighborhood. That's what I'm saying. They need to beef up their salary because just like you look at some of those small third world countries, they got those military dudes. They all corrupted because they, you know, you you're a tourist. They rob you. You get robbed by the police. You know, they get robbed by the the burglars. Wow. You get robbed by the police. <laughs> yeah, you seen those? Remember traffic? Did you see traffic? Yep, I thought. Remember, them dudes was like, they was like Mexican police and they were like robbing the tourists. <laughs> How much you got yeah. on you? I'm stopping you for a busted tail light, then they bust the tail light out. <laughs> then they say, oh, wow. Then they say, okay, uh, I'm going to write you a ticket. And they take the time. And then the guy hand him $100 and he let him go. That's the kind of stuff that, uh-huh. you know, 
because they don't make no money. You know? So we're stopping a little hacker yeah. guy, you know, guy, you know, the computer guy. He only making 35 and they had, they said, we'll take care of you for the rest of your life. Just disappear. Wow. That's crazy happen. There's going to be a movie about it. There's going to be a movie about all this. You know that. Right, Earl? Big oh, Earl. Yeah. Cotton Campbell. What's up, Cotton Campbell? Are uh, you ready? We ready to talk to the sheriff. It's about that time. You ready to talk to her? Oh, yeah. All right, let's get to share up here. Let me, let me pull her bio up real quick. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to have to try to find Miss Miss Piper's stuff because uh, they sent me some videos. I can't use that. I need the bio. Uh-uh. So I got to go search for her <laughs> stuff. All right, so let's talk to Tashara. I think that's how she say her name. Tashara. Stop and Look is the name of her album. Or maybe that's the name of her singer. All right, the Cheryl is originally from the state of Connecticut and one of the two children born to Deacon James and Betty Teal. She started singing in the church where she grew up, East End Baptist Tabernacle Church in the Starlight Choir at the age of three. Under the tutelage of Minister Michael Cummings and the late Minister Maxine Foster Durham. It was during these early years and stages in her life that she realized her love and passion for singing. All right, we're going to let her bring and let her tell us the rest of the story because she's, she's, she has a very long bio. Maybe the longest I've ever seen. Oh, Lord. <laughs> All right, let's listen to a song and then we're going to bring it out. She got one called Stop and Look. Let's check it out. Oh, the bad we didn't want to play. Oh, uh-huh. must, something must be wrong with that file. Yeah, let me try it again. There we go. Why don't you stop and look to see where God's directing you? Quickly listen to the words He's telling you. Open your heart to the path He's taking you. Just obey, see the blessings flow for you. For in this house, we will truly serve the Lord. And we'll stay on His narrow path to For he paid the price when he gave his own life on Calvary. He died to save you and me. All he wants is your life made more abundantly. Be quick to hear and slow to speak. Then you will know his love is real and it will appeal to your heart and mind and soul at times. When you feel like giving up, it gets hard sometimes. But if you stop looking and listen, his love will quicken your spiritual mind to want to give him some time.
Ladies and gentlemen, this is Paula G. And you are listening to Late Night with Jerry Royce live at Positive Power 21. Can you feel the power? That's right. You tell them Paula G. That's Paula G, y'all. Don't forget, join us Friday night, midnight, with the quiet storm. You'll see videos with Sheila Moore Piper. That's right. And uh, my man Preacher Boy, some new ones. And the number one video, that's right, Le- Janice LeVon. All right. So we on the air with Tashara Boykin. How you doing, Tashara? Are we saying your name correctly? <laughs> Close. It's Tashara. Tashara. Oh, wow. Wow. That's beautiful. Tashara. Thank you. Can I do the you. voiceover for you? How are you all doing? We're awesome. I am. Joyce, you good? I'm trying to breathe, but I'm good. Joyce can't breathe. Uh oh. I can't breathe. She can't breathe. A lot of people can't breathe today. <laughs> Especially on the streets of New York right now. It's tight up in there. Would you stop it? Stop it. <laughs> I know. All right, well, we're here to talk about the shower. She got her 30 minutes of fame. Everybody's here to get to know you. We've been playing your song Wonderful for a while, but I really like Stop and Look. Well, you, you've been holding out on me. What's up with that? <laughs> Well, thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. And I'll be supporting you playing both of my singles. So I really, I really appreciate you in that. Amen. All right. Well, man, um, my co-host with the stuffed up noise we knows we're going to take turns <laughs> asking you questions if you can understand her. But uh, the, and of course, you know, your bio is pretty long. I want to waste up all your time, you know, reading it. So the first question is, who is Tashara? You still there, Tashara? Hello. Yeah, did you hear me? The first. I'm here. Yeah, the first. Yeah, the first question is who is Tashara? The first question is for me. Yeah, who are you? Who are you? Who's Tashara? Tashara Boykin. Oh, who is Tashara? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear that part. <laughs> well, Tashara is um, a devout Christian and someone who is definitely dedicated to kingdom advancement through ministry, through song, and um, I definitely just have a heart for people and, and to see people change in, in, in their lives, in their daily lives, in their spiritual lives especially, and just someone who loves the Lord and who desires to show love wherever wherever I go so that the kingdom can be advanced, and I, I have a, a, a passion, a true passion to help people and help others, and um, as it stated in my bio, I'm originally from Connecticut, and I um, currently reside in Orange Park, Florida, which is just outside of Jacksonville, Florida. And um, I've been here for quite some time. So, um, but that is that is basically who I am. All right, Amen. Thank you. I hope to meet you. Um, maybe we'll meet up at the Engaro Awards. That's coming up in July, everybody, and it's going to be featuring a lot yeah, of these artists. Yeah. So. Yeah, that'd be great. All right, you join us tonight, Joyce. I know you. You know. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Your turn. I think I can breathe. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm joining you. Um, my question is, <laughs> what do you do when you have stopped up? No, I'm just kidding. Um, as oh, wow. far as your <laughs> your purpose. <laughs> <laughs> when did you discover your purpose of of uh, you know wanting to help others? Well, honestly, that is something that I've done all my life. I used to I was the um, I was that one kid who kind of protected other kids from from bullies. So it, it started at at an early age. I um you know I was the, the the person who you know why are you saying that to this person and don't treat them that way. So it did start at an early age, but I really it cultivated even more in me um, in my college years because you know when moving away from home from Connecticut all the way to Florida, yeah, we had to definitely build up one another. A lot of my friends that I met in college happened to be um, from up north as well. So we kind of kind of um, collaborated together to, to help each other grow and um, and just, you know, stuck together. So it started there. And then especially when I became a Christian in, in 2000, I, I got I received salvation in 2000 and um, just knowing even more and more about the love of, of Christ that I had, you know, I grew up in church, so I, I did know, 
but I, I really didn't come into the full knowledge of God until I actually received salvation in 2000. And, you know, God, God is love. So, um, and he, he came to help, you know, Jesus came to help others deliver um, those from their spiritual demons and things of that sort. So that's what we're, we're put here to do is to help others um, to become the best them, you know, that God has, um, that God wants them to be. So that's just kind of a part of who I've always been. And throughout the years, God has really cultivated it into to more. All right. Love that. Amen. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and that's true. We are here to help one another. And that's, that's, that's what's so great about this music industry. You get a chance to meet some wonderful people, at least the one the one that's not corrupted. And that's the indie gospel artist genre. It's not corrupted. Not yet. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get, yeah, I'm not going to throw no names out there, but it could easily get corrupted. But no, I don't think so. Everybody has a pretty good heart. Good heart. Want to help. You know, make the world a better place. Now, um, my question, if Tashara was the president of the United States, what would be the first thing you would do your first day in office? Oh, goodness. (laughs) What would be the first thing I would do? I would definitely try to, first of all, help unify people, the Democrats, the Republicans, the conservatives, the independents. Because that is really what this world as a whole needs is unity. Um, And then I would definitely also, you know, try to help out those more in need than than helping the ones who are already, you know, grown in their prosperity. It's all about, like I said, it's all about helping one another to grow. The more you reach down to pull someone up, the better off the world will be. So growing the, the um, this <clears throat> nation in unity and in love first will kind of take care of some of the, of some of the other issues um, that are surrounding not only this nation but the world as a whole because if we learn to work together we can learn to to do things in um, in order decent and in order so that's that's what I would that's the first thing I would do is a little bit and then get into all the rest of the the hoopla with the businesses and the, the differences between the governmental systems and things mm-hmm. of that sort, but unify um, the house. That's first. right. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> That's what I said. See there, Jerry, we, you, you have to be my brother. Cause I said it in, inside and you said it outside. Joyce and Royce. <laughs> Joyce and Royce. That's right. That's us. We do. We but do. My question is, as far as your music, what, type of message are you trying to convey to those that um, hear your music? Um, well, the, the different, the songs that I have that God has given me are very different. A lot of, um, I guess the main thing that I'm trying to convey is uh, that you can really go for in for all of your answers. You can search the scriptures to find all of your answers and then seek you. Seek God next. You know, actually, that's the first thing that you should do is seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of our needs will be added unto us. So that's basically what I'm trying to convey in, in all of my music. Even Stop and Look, it's, it's, it's first is geared towards the, the Christians because what it's symbolizing is it's stating that, you know, because of the hustle and bustle of life, we still have to stop and look and, and listen to the voice of God and then obey what he's telling us to do. Um, a lot of times, you know, we are called to love first. So it's through love that we can it, we can advance the kingdom and bring people in instead of judgment and condemnation. Um, so we have to, first of all, we have to be able to focus on building a spiritual relationship with Christ Jesus in order to um, be able to portray the true love that he has given us. So we have to stop, look, and then and then um, the song that um, Jerry was talking, speaking about earlier called Wonderful is just um, an edification of, and of the glory of God, that he is just wonderful to us. Um, so that's more of a worship song. And I also, but 
collaboratively, the um, when my album does the CD, full CD does come out, it's basically just portraying, um, depicting the characteristics of God and how you're supposed to live a, a life as a Christian and, and a, a kingdom advancer. And the the message that I'm trying that I want to um, convey is that all of your answers can be um, found in the scriptures. If you really, truly purpose in your heart to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, all of your needs are done to you. Mm-hmm. Amen. That's right. Amen. Preach, sister. That's right. Yeah. Don't forget to pray. <laughs> now, um, oh, yeah. I have a, now, since you since you went there, Tashara, um, one of the things that, that's been really out there I've been noticing on YouTube is that a lot of the like life coach and spiritual leaders are really trying to teach people how to really um, have a relationship with God. If you had an opportunity to stand on the pulpit and you had an opportunity to talk to a group of youth or, or, or some battered adults, domestic abuse, all that stuff, how would you tell them to pray? How, how would you tell them to seek a relationship with God in your own words? Um, well, same, kind of the same answer that I, that I just stated. First, you have to, to speak the scripture. You have to pray the scripture back to, to God because his word will not, so his word will not return unto him void. So you have to first, you know, seek out, even if it's just one scripture pertaining to how you're feeling. Maybe you're going through a, a tough time and you need to know about healing. If you find that one scripture on healing or, um, that you want to portray and, and pray back to back to God, just focus and meditate on that one scripture and ask God to come into your heart, come into your, your mind and come into your, your spirit and take over and allow the Holy Spirit to really cultivate a relationship, a true relationship between you and God. It, it's all about relationship. It's not necessarily about the um the traditional church of of old and you know or just traditions nowadays things are so non traditional mm-hmm. hence this election i mean our, our new president was never in politics before um so we have to really um what I would just say is don't focus on traditions and doing things um the way that man says to do them but um Focus on what the Word of God says and and try to build that relationship and give yourself some time. Don't you know? Don't push yourself into a, a force yourself into a relationship. Just allow God. Just kind of rest in God and just allow Him to do it and allow Him to take over. And that relationship will be begin to grow. And as you as the relationship with Christ grows, you'll see different things start to break off of you, and um, your mindset will change. So once you open up your heart and your mind to be renewed, then then things will be able to change in your life. Yeah, that's so true. Because one of the things I was, I mean, and I, and I was asking, I was asking for guidance with the Spirit too. I was asking for some help to to help me understand. But it's like you know, when you go to church for almost more than I mean, I've been going to church since I was three, four years old. And sometimes it's just starting to sound like the preachers are starting to like really water down the word to make the masses happy because he's trying to do something, you know, financial with the money. And it's like, wow, people, people here are going through some really rough stuff. And some of those guys not even ask, not even bringing the church to the altar anymore. And that's one of the things that's coming out a lot in a lot of the, the conversation I'm listening to in the Periscope that it's like mediocre church now. So, you know, and, and I'm, I'm finding that some of the mega churches are really powerful now because they have the powerful vocalists, the musicians, the directors. And it's like the music is, is touching people's spirit and it's kind of leading the pastor at the same time. So I'm, I'm going to ask you, do you think music is like, very, very. Do you think it's important to be in the church? Good music, good music. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, um, God loves music. He 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 created it, and it's used for worship. You know, as long as it's used in the right manner um, to glorify God, it's definitely needed because it can set the atmosphere, and that's mm. usually what it's you know used for in the churches 
nowadays is just to set the atmosphere. Um, but you can't just only go by the music itself. You have to go by the hearts and minds of the people who are either playing the instruments mm-hmm. or who are singing um, the songs of Christ. So we all have to be held accountable with our lifestyles. And if we're singing about God and about the goodness of Jesus and, and we don't believe it for ourselves, we have to be held accountable. And that is very true. A lot of things are, are, are nowadays are so watered down because, um, you know, there's a lot of churches are more concerned about the, like you said, the prosperity, you know, keeping the, keeping the membership. And so you don't want to offend anyone with the word of God. But um, I mean, that's what, <laughs> if the word convicts you, then you have to seek your heart to find out why it convicts you. That's right. um, like I said, you know, it's not supposed to condemn, but it will convict and kind of prick your heart to say, you know, ouch God, you know, what is it that you're trying to get me to to realize about myself mm-hmm. that you want me to change in order to grow that closer relationship to you? Because a lot of times our sin and um, some of the things that we do and even our mindset can hinder us from that relationship with God. So, yeah, we have to definitely um, get back into a place of, of worship um, in the church for sure, because like I said, it, it can definitely, um, music is so important to set the atmosphere, but the hearts and the minds of the people singing and playing the instruments, as well as the hearts and minds of those hearing the songs, you know, we have to come with an expectant heart in everything that we do, um, expect God to show up and ask him and invite him in to show up. So if, if that's not being done and it's just, okay, we're on a time frame, we're going to sing these two songs or three songs and, and then we're going to start preaching and that's it. You have to allow the Holy Spirit to take over. Yeah. And a lot of times because of, um, so because of, you know, the media, um, churches are on such a, a time frame where, um, unfortunately they kind of, sometimes the spirit can be quenched because they're on the time frame. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't really allow the Holy Spirit to really take full effect and the glory of the Lord to really fall right. fresh in the place. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, we definitely have to get back to what music can definitely um, enter the presence of God and, and it'll help the preacher, um, the person who's going to get up to preach the word of God. It, it allows them the opportunity to, to, um, to have that oneness with God while the music is going on and it helps them preach. Mm-hmm. I've, I've seen some, some services, especially the night nice services when the, the, you know, they have like the best musicians in this vocalists are there and then they have a guest pastor there and the tone is set it's like you know what i was going to use these notes but and he just throw it the next thing you know he's like touching people's spirit and people are going running to the altar to be you know to be healed to be mm-hmm. saved to accept him you know you got people there who've never been to church before that's been invited by friends you know and now they're experiencing mm-hmm. this high spirit and they're like oh i love this you know you can feel the love of god just overcome you so, I haven't, you know, it's been a while. All right. Okay. Tell you what, we're going to play your song real quick because we do have another guest coming up and we appreciate you being here. And man, you were very spiritual. You caught me off guard. Amen. Glad I had the faith walker with me. Well, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. Yo, we're going to listen to one called Wonderful. We, hear, we listen to this one pretty much every night. This is wonderful. But to Shara. Awesome. Awesome. Your name. 
That's right. You tell them robot, robot, robot being good, man. All right, that was the shower, and earlier you heard "Stop and Look" and no, "Stop and Look," and then that was wonderful. Wonderful is one of our favorites. We play; it's like an all-time favorite. We've been playing it for like, I guess, like three weeks now. All right. Um, don't forget. Um, coming up next is that's right. Sheila Moore Piper is coming up. And uh, she collabed with the Earl, the bass man, White. So I'm hoping to get some singles from her. I thought we had those, but it wasn't on the, on the, on the landing page for some reason. But uh, we will be uh, featuring her video tomorrow night on, uh, is tomorrow Wednesday? That's right, today's Wednesday. Friday, I'm sorry, Friday on Quiet Storm with Paula G. We will be here with Sheila Moore Piper's video. It's going to be featured. And uh, you probably saw it earlier if you was checking us out on Facebook Live, Double XI Christian Radio and TV. All right, let me bring the ladies back on. And we appreciate having her. I got so many buttons to push. It's ridiculous. All right. I hope I'm pushing the right one. Okay. All We're, right, back. Sh- We're back. All right, the shower. We love you your do. music and thank you for being independent and and before you, um, you know, we signed you off, we wanted to know, um, so how social social media been working for you, you know? It's been awesome. Oh, um, it's, it's going really well. It's working really well for me. I've, um, I have to do a little bit more advertising on social media. I've actually started Facebook 
Facebooking more, which is good. Mm-hmm. Um, I will have, uh, for everyone, I'm actually going to have a single release, Facebook Live um, single release next Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mm. So um, to actually officially release Wonderful. So uh, all of you join me on Facebook Live and it's going to yeah. be November 18th at 7 p.m. So I'm going to try out that avenue. I have um, been advertising that on my Facebook page. So um, come out and, and just join me and share in, in the, the goodness of Jesus. And I, I appreciate all the comments that everyone has um, that has left about this song. And I'm just thankful that it has blessed you. This is definitely a, um, a song that God gave me just to edify him and, and really, truly worship him. So mm-hmm. take the time to meditate on the, the goodness of Jesus. And thank you so much. I really appreciate You're all welcome. the great the, the comments. Amen. This phrase is praise and worship time on Positive Power 21. Um, also, give everybody your website. You have a very nice website. Give me your website. Or should I do it? Oh, thank you. Yeah, you give it to him. Go ahead. Um, I have to do some work, more work on that too, but it is um, www.tasharasings.com. And my name is spelled T E S, is in Sam, C H A R A, and then sings.com. So www.tasharasings.com. And I'm at Tashara Sings on Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Instagram as well. All right, I just dropped it on Spreaker Radio, so um, the crowds can come out there and check it out. All right, so it's out there on Spreaker Radio, and I stuck it on the on um, the live page, so you guys can check it out when you get a chance. Very nice website. Yeah, almost got a silhouette going on there. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> All right. All right, to Sherry, thank you so much. Don't be a stranger. We're here every night at 10 o'clock, so a lot of the stars do stop by and say hi. Um, a record label executive was here the other night uh, promoting his author. I mean, not his author, his artist, Jay Love. And um, Bunny DeBarge had jumped in to say hi. And sometime um, every Drake stops by once in a while. And a couple of those do. So we, we look, we're trying to um, reach out to some of the celebrities uh, that we had on the show before that, you know, check you guys out and, you know, wish you guys the best. So, but, you know, it's your show. And um, keep promoting. Don't forget. Also, everybody, before the share will go, we will be offering some special promotions going on in December. The prices are really rock bottom low, like no more than $15. Okay, so if you uh, got a small budget and you want us to announce you on the show, that's all it's going to cost you. That's right. So get it while the time, you know, while it's right. Limited slots. That's right. We try and take care of you guys. We know you got a lot of expenses because we want you to come out here and visit us for DC um, Unplug. Okay. Cause you said you're on the East Coast, Connecticut, right? You said. Uh, she's in Florida. Mm-hmm. Oh, Florida. Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm originally from Dallas, in Florida. Okay, we could work something out. We um put, putting together a remote program to feature artists on our concert web series. So I'm not limiting people who can't make it. Here's great. If you can make it to the set, but if you can't, you can build your own set. I'll give you some instructions, and we can work it out. We're already working something out right now with Theodore, but I want Theodore to be here. That's right, Chestnut. I want you here, man. But we're going to work it out. We're also working with Chante Chapman. We did a rehearsal with him yesterday. It looked really good. Um, So he knows the little things he's going to tweak. So we're going to have fun, y'all. We're going to run this all through the winter. So we're going to probably start the second season up um, probably right after Christmas. And then in the spring, we probably be able to roll into the third season in the spring, where the third, the spring was going to be the second season. But now, because Batman is so, you know, I don't want to pat myself on the back, but I got to keep it moving, right? That's my job. Can't let the weather stop me. All right, Deshara, thank you so much. And we will um, stay on the stay. We hope you can stick around and, and go on Facebook Live and communicate with everybody. Also on uh, Spreaker Radio, you go out there and check out. Um, Superwoman, she's out there waiting for everybody. All right? And I'll put that link if anybody awesome. want to go out to. Spreaker Radio link is right there on my Facebook Live. Oops. So you want to check her out. You can, and that's where we play all your music 24-7. I don't know if you knew that. Did you know that, that we was playing your, movie, your music in a big playlist every day, 24 hours? Did you know that? I did not know that, but I... Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, you're like one of the... I, I, I did, I, 
was aware of that, but it sounds like you've been playing it for quite some time. Yeah, so thank you. yeah, on the show, and it's been part of the top ten. It's part of the top ten lineup when we um go live. Yeah, every morning. Oh. Yeah, starting right after the show. Well, as soon as the show is over. Yeah, the playlist begins. All right, we thank you so much. All right, y'all, we got the next lady, young ladies up next. All right, where my thing at? I got too many windows open. <laughs> we was doing artwork today. All right, so to share with she's gonna hang. We hope she stick around a little bit and and um, enjoy um, the second interview. And it's eleven o'clock, so she can hang out with us for mm-hmm. a bit. All right, so let's do this. Amen. Let's play. You know, I I gotta look for Sheila's singles, but this is a piece she's collab with uh, Earl the Bass Man. You guys always hear me talking about this song right here. All right, I don't have my normal glasses on today, so everything looks different. Oh, here we go. Uh-uh. Sheila Moore <laughs> Piper. She's featured on here with Earl the Bass Man. It's called No Fair Weather. For- this is the one I always say should be on mainstream radio. I'm just so honored to have this song. Here you go, Joyce. This is for you, Joyce. Yay. Hey, Sheila. Hey, Earl. Guess what? I found a savior. He's a healer, mm-hmm. a deliverer, mm-hmm. a redeemer. And I got to tell the world about him. Yes. Won't you help me tell him? Like this. Let's go. Like this. Here we go. Can I, can I talk to you? I know you need a breakthrough. Praying for you night and day. Our God. Jesus will make a way. No matter what's going on, there's no way you can fall on him. No matter where the friend, on him you can be found. Yeah. No matter where the friend, on him you can be found. Can you help me say? Can I? Remind you, he's the kind of breakthroughs Jesus, who loves it all times. Hold on.
That was Earl the Bass Man and Sheila Moore Piper. Sheila Moore Piper, Christian soul artist. Sheila Moore Piper returns with her new album entitled Are You Ready? Chapter 2 for the BDM You Grew music label. It is comprised of 12 new powerful and anointed tracks for popular songs like Get Excited, the hit single It's Time, Clap It Up, produced by award-winning producer Drake Akins. And the title track, Are You Ready? featuring vocalist Aaron Stevenson bringing listeners 47 minutes worth of excellent listening. In addition to Sheila Moore Piper's own gorgeous sparkling vocals, Are You Ready? Chapter 2 also features towering talents of Tashina Daniels, Monica Williams, Derek Leon, and Gene Moore. And Sheila music is spiritually inspired in every song on it. All right, spectacular work. Love it. Man, Earl, you, you killed that, man. I don't know if you can outdo that one, Earl. Woo, that's my favorite song, too, man. All right, let's bring Sheila out here. Let's talk to Sheila. Let's see what's going on her neck of the woods. I'm always looking at her video all the time. What's going on, Sheila Piper? How you doing? Hello, brother Jerry Ross. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Jerry I'm Voice doing is good. doing awesome. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, Jerry Voice is doing good. I got my I got my sister here, um, Joyce the Faith Walker. So I'm good. Hi, Miss Joyce. How you doing? You doing all right? Yes, do it very well, thank you. That's good. That's good. Don't laugh at me, Jerry. <laughs> I'm laughing. Actually, I'm laughing at Sheila. See, Sheila, Sheila, okay. Sheila, and Glenn. Okay. Her husband, Glenn, helps her out. But Sheila asked a lot of questions. She was, she was, she was forcing me to text while I was driving. I didn't want to do that, but I, I hate to. <laughs> I hate to leave people nah, hanging. Nah, I don't want you to do that. <laughs> yeah, I don't like to leave people hanging. Nah, but... we can't do that. Yeah. We can't text while driving. Could, oh, my goodness. She couldn't get the text time zone. get a grip. <laughs> so, that's right. So, Glenn couldn't help you with the time zone? Because I knew you was, you was having trouble with the time zone. Oh, no, I'm cool. You know, cool. I'm all right. I'm all right. All right. So, you all right? I just have to set, set, set my clock. I'm okay. We're just an hour right. behind you. Guys. All right, cool. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, all right, good. Good, uh-huh. yeah, because we late night radio, so... We want to see you pop in here sometime and say hi to people, you know? Oh, okay. But, you know, I didn't recognize you guys were late night, and I was like, huh? Late night. I said, oh, okay. So that's great. That's good to know. Now that I know it's late night, I can pop in every once in a while and say, yeah, hey. That's right. Just stop by, <laughs> say hi, you know, listen to the new song. We always play new songs for the first, um, I think, like 15 minutes or something like that. Introduce new songs. We do mm-hmm. music reviews so you get a chance to um, hear some new stuff coming out, you know? And so Glenn really, mm-hmm. Glenn probably would be excited about that, you know, because he's a producer, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Check it out. Yeah, because a lot of the guys um who are record labels stay here, um checking out the talent, collaborations, mm-hmm. right? All right, Paul all and Gara, and Gara. So people are kicking out music right now. And the holidays are around the corner. So are you ready? You ready for the yeah. holidays? It's coming fast. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, holiday is coming. It's coming really fast. It is, it is. Now, yeah. Now, the first question is who is Sheila Moore Piper? Who is she? I am Sheila Moore Piper. I am from Houston, Texas. I am, um, I was a school teacher for 13 years. Mm. And uh, I was a full time school teacher, full fledged in the classroom. I've always, I was always in music, though. Um, I started writing songs when I was eight years old. Um, uh, I am a singer, but I'm also a songwriter, um, songwriter producer as well. And I started writing when I was eight years old, but, um, and I wrote when I was in college for different, my sorority, me, five Epsilon, for my, my sisters there. Then when I left there, I went into school teaching. The Lord had me going to school teaching to get some basic training, um, um, you know, boot camping, you know, as they say, boot camping, um, just things that I needed to know, organizations and things like that. And in 2013, he had me come out of the classroom, and in 2014, I started doing full-time um, music ministry. Wow. Mm. And I've been moving ever since we started, 2014. Because, you know, I did the first record. I did the first record in 2008, but it was an Internet record. Mm. It was very good. We, we promoted the Internet because I was still teaching in the classroom. But um, for this particular record, Are You Ready? Chapter 2, after I did the first one, it took us about maybe four years to finish up Are You Ready? Chapter 2. Mm. And once it was finished, once it was finished, we got uh, we got finished with it, I think, 2000, uh, early part of 2013. 
got it taken, got it mastered and mixed and mixed, mixed and mastered to late part of 2013. And then we released the single Get Excited in March 2014. Then we released the album Are You Ready? Chapter 2 in 2000, September 2014, late September 2014. Hmm. And then, you know, now we have to re-release it. We're going to have to re-release the single and the album come 2017. Because the album and the single has been in high demand. Wow. And we're still promoting Get Excited because it's in high demand. So I was told recently that I'm going to have to re-release the single and re-release the album. That's right. Because it's still in high demand. Mm -hmm. And so it's a blessing. It's been a blessing. So it's been, like I said, it's been two years full time, but I've been moving. That's right. That's right. (laughs) So it's a blessing. The Lord has been moving me. I've been moving, 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 moving. So that's, that's who I am. All right. Hey, man, thank you. Joyce, yeah. so you join, You have enough mm-hmm. voice, Joyce? Can you breathe to talk to Sheila? Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, I, yeah. It just sounds like I'm talking out of my your ear. mouth, I guess. Your ear. Well, I am talking out of my mouth. I be breathing out of my mouth while I'm talking. <laughs> but um, <laughs> my question is, it, you, you said that you were able to do music, your music, music ministry full time. So how did mm-hmm. you know exactly when that time was to say bye-bye to teaching and hello to uh, music ministry full-time. But but my last year when I was in teaching full-time in 2013, um, at the beginning of the year, I kept hearing a song. It's a song by Yolanda Adams called You Know That I Know, and uh, it's a part of the hook that goes, um, um, I will be your everything. And the Lord kept just saying, um, um, if you just, you know, just trust in me, he said, trust in me is a part she could, you know, that I know, I assure you, I'll be there. All your burdens, I'll be there. I'll let you know that I care. You know that I know. And he just kept saying, I mean, I'll be your everything for you. I want you to sing. And he just kept saying it to me over and over and over. And I was like, Lord, you know, is this, you know, you, you know, it was in my spirit for like the, almost the whole year and I was still full time teaching. And, mm-hmm. and I was like, and that particular year, uh, it was it was a difficult year. Now, now, mind you, I've had some difficult years teaching, but that don't mean I was supposed to come out. Right. But this particular year right here, for some strange reason, it was just like, it was, I was beginning, beginning to get agitated. And my classes were a little bit more. I was getting 10 classes a day that, that year, and it was just a lot going on. It was like, Lord, what's going on? But it was just, he was just slowly pulling me out and slowly pulling me out. And by me hearing that song by Yolanda Adams in my spirit like that, I, I, when I went and told my principal I wouldn't be returning back, and I was like, "Oh my God, what have I just mm-hmm. done?" And <laughs> and um, you know, fruits follow. You know, you know, the Lord told you to do something when you start seeing the fruits manifest afterwards. You know, sometimes you miss it, but this particular time I, I didn't miss it, and stuff started happening. As soon as we got the record out, it started. You know, stuff started happening. We made the, the first round of the Grammy ballots. The mm-hmm. album has just had just come out. And it was just stuff going on, and I knew then that you know it was it this, it was for real then. Yeah. But it 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 um it it took a year, it mm. took a great year for me to hear that song over and over, wow. like that. It took a year. Mm. Man, what a great testimony! Wow, yeah. that's stepping out on faith. You hear those stories all the time now. Um, you know, sometimes you you know you're sitting in your job and you say, "Wow, can I can I can I make a living?" you know, doing what I love, but be able to sustain my lifestyle. You know, a lot of people are like, uh, so they just stay where they are, never step out on faith. Mm. That's a good one. It's good to have well, somebody in your corner, too. When I first, when I first left, when I, when I first left teaching, that, it, was, it was difficult. It was difficult. It was hard. I, I was going back and forth, back and forth. But the Lord was stopping in his decision, but I was kind of going back and forth, back and forth, because mm. I got to be real, because when you teach, when, you know, you're used to, you know, I was used to getting paid every two weeks. That's right. That's <laughs> I got to right. keep it real. Uh-huh. I was used to getting paid, getting my money every two weeks. And I'm saying, you know, and it was wonderful because I had reached my pinnacle of teaching in just 13 years where I was making very good money. Mm-hmm. I was making some very good, very, very good money. And yeah. I was like, okay. And when I came out, when you first step into this, you spend money. Yeah, you you have to invest in yourself. That's right. You have to spend, and you have to do it the right way because you want your album to look good. You know, you, you're going up against other people, and it's not that you're in competition with them, but it's just the excellence that you need to do in yeah. this business. You have to yeah. have a spirit of excellence. That's very professional. And the Lord had taught me that in the classroom. That's so, right. Yeah, professional. I that. You need it because it's it's one of those kind of worlds where everybody. I mean, you guys are you know trendsetters too. You know, you set the trends. 
So people are watching, mm-hmm. you know, they're watching you. And the video, I love the video. Um, I'm, I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, you, you know, guys... and that was a blessing too. And because I won music video of the year this year. Mm. Wow. I mean, I mean, I got to think that was my first video, first video for music and first I'm winning award the, the year yeah. this year. You know, um, in Edgar, I was like, "Wow!" That's right. That's <laughs> like, right. Well, you know, and then Gower is yeah. great because um, that helped us to be able to start a new program just for Christian music videos on Friday night called the Quiet Storm Apology. So you got to come out and check mm-hmm. us out. We may start having guests too oh, yeah, to come out. Yeah, yeah. Some number ones. We got a couple of number yeah. ones. Um, two, you know, two second weeks. We need to have her come on, and um, and we just yeah. featured you. We ran you for um, doing our one hour programming today. We ran some new videos. Oh, wow. And thank you. Since she was thank a special you. guest, we said we'll play that and let people get a chance to see thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank We're you. Good. Yeah, just for, the, just, for the, just for the record, that's where I met Earl at. I met Earl this year at Agara. Mm-hmm. He, he won about three or four, wa- yeah, three sure or four awards. Yeah. And I won one for music video, and that's where we met at. And so it's amazing. I just met him in July, and you would, with, he's like family. He's like that's blood right. to me. That's and right. Now we got a record out. <laughs> <laughs> I know a beautiful song. We did, too. you know, we did "Farewell to Friend" in like three weeks. <laughs> wow, it is nice. It is really a great, great song. All right, we're ready to play. I'm um, so excited. I mean, get excited. I'm so excited, but it's called mm-hmm. "Get Excited." And then uh, when we come back, I guess we will be able to um, have uh, Joyce uh, give us her final words for tonight's show, and then you can give us your final words. Do you mind praying for us? Can you pray us out for tonight? Can you do that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah no problem. I appreciate no that. Problem. And before we, um, and please include where people can find your music ad and your website and all that good stuff, okay? When we come back, right after okay. this song, Get Excited by Sheila Moore Piper. <laughs>
Ride Podcast. All right, that was Sheila Moore Piper. And don't forget, that Friday night, Quiet Storm, you get a chance to see that video. That's right, we're going to feature that video, special feature for Sheila Moore Piper. And we can't wait um, for them to present the video for um, Fairweather Friends. Farewell Friends. Is that right? Fairweather Friends. What am I talking yep. about? Yeah, we're going to have to get that. We're going to do that one. That's the next one up on our list. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to do that one next. <laughs> and you can always come on. We are um, definitely going to do that video. You know, we have a uh, a web series for a uh, concert web series that we do here in the D.C. area. So you guys are always welcome to come here before the weather gets oh, bad. Okay. Or, um, you know, make, okay. I could talk to Glenn and see how we can make arrangements to have your, you and your band perform right there. And you guys just, um, we, we do a remote um stream also so we can always do that okay all right i okay. know people enjoy that that's right dc unplugged concert music concert web series we're going to be trying to start that second season um in january and then we're going to try to get at least 12 episodes out of that and then we're going to be moving into the spring with more live groups coming here to the dc area all right, so that's going to be awesome, oh, okay. y'all. That's right, we're working it out. Nice, nice. Hopefully we can get this big sponsor so I can get this, this stage. That's right. We're trying to work it out, y'all. Keep us in prayer. Okay. God is good. Yes, we do. Definitely. That's right. Definitely all the time. Yeah, I know y'all fly here for that. All right. All right. So, uh, Faith Walker, you ready? Yes. All right. I was ready. <laughs> <laughs> My final thoughts for the evening are this. No matter what is going on in the world, we all just have to remember that God has got us. Everything is under control. Keep doing what you're doing. Strive you know, harder and stronger to achieve your goals. Um, Ms. Sheila just, just proved that you can um, do your own thing if you have a plan and a purpose that God has for you, you can go out on your own and God will sustain you. He will supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Mm-hmm. Those are my final thoughts. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Amen. 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 All right. Amen. We ready for Mrs. Piper. You can give us your final thoughts and then you can pray us out. And don't forget to let everybody know where they can find you and events coming up. Okay. Uh, yes, um, I love what Ms. Joyce said, and it was wonderful, and that is true. For such a time as this, we do need to remember that, you know, you, we have to put our, our trust in the living God. You know, um, we can't put our trust in people. It's a scripture that says that in Psalms, and it talks about, you know, we don't trust in chariot or horses. We don't put our trust in men. We put our trust in the living God. And we have to, you know, remember, you know, that, um, you know, if you want to, like President Obama told us, if you want to, if you want something to change, you have to be the change. You know, um, I know um, First Lady Michelle Obama said, when they go low, you go high. And so you have to keep going high, you know. And it's a wonderful thing for us to dwell in unity. But I want to say this. If you are in a non-transforming environment, you cannot be a transforming individual in a non-transforming environment. You're going to have to get inside of a uh, a transforming environment to be transformed. Mm -hmm. So in this day and time, whatever the Lord is calling you to do, and whatever he wants you to do, you know, don't come up with excuses and say what you can't do. You know, if he's calling you to be the teacher, he's calling you to be the ministry, he's calling you to be a preacher or songwriter, whatever he's calling you to do for such a time as this. Trust God that he'll help you do it. If you take that faith and walk out and do what you're supposed to do and and do it, then he'll he'll make sure that he'll direct your path. And he'll help you complete the the task and the, the purpose that he has for your life. That's right. It's the time. The time is now. You know, the time is now. You know, we we want to put it off and put it off and put it off. But you know, you you have to walk in your divine destiny. Success is not a destination; it's a journey. That's right. And you never know you'll be successful at something until you step out and do it. That's and right. now is that time. That's right. That's why we're right here doing late night. I sleep all during the day, and I'm working at night. <laughs> <laughs> <That's right. laughs> all right everybody don't forget about uh my sponsor here tina hobson i am a superwoman radio you can get her book on how he loves me reflection of god's love for me and for you she's working on her new book which will be out soon and my other sponsor 
you gotta love this lady. We actually plays her um her audio, her poetry is actually played on Positive Power as it flows. And this is a big time series right here by Verona Jacobs. Help support this author. She could really use you because I don't think she's um actually working right now. She's she has a some um sort of um I'm not sure it's life threatening illness, but um she can use your help. Let's put it like that. All right. Oh, okay. We appreciate having you here. So you ready to pray us out? I am. Thank right. you so much for having me. I really, really appreciate it. You're uh, thank you too, Miss Joyce. I really appreciate it. Mm. All right, let's pray. Father God, we just thank you. Thank you, Father God, for your son, Jesus Christ, who we can call on you, Father God, for whatever we need. And we just thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name. We have the power and the authority, Father God, to bind those things. Whatever we need to bind on earth is bind in heaven. Whatever we loose on earth is loose in heaven. We want to thank you, Father God, Lord Jesus, that just because we had a president election, Father God, yesterday, that it's not the end. It's not the end for you, for the United States, Father God, that you still have a great plan and purpose for our lives, Father God, and we will walk in that purpose and plan that you have divine for us to walk in. I just pray, Father God, for all my American people and all the American people, Father God, that's out there that's still dealing with the aftermath of yesterday. But, Father God, just comfort them and let them know that it's going to be okay. That, Father God, we don't put our trust in man, that we put our trust in you. And the Bible says, Father God, in Philippians 4.19, that you should supply all our needs according to you, which is the glory through Christ Jesus. And you also said in Psalms 23 and 1 that the Lord is our shepherd, we shall not want. And, Father God, this is such a time as this. Let us continue to seek your face now um, than ever before. Um, this is the time, Father God, we come to you, Father God, and stay in whatever plan that you have for our lives and just stay connected and not stray away. We just thank you, Father God, that you said and declared in Psalm 34 that the young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but those that seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. And we just thank you, Father God, Lord Jesus, that we're not going to lack anything. When you sent the disciples out two by two, Father God, you asked them when they came back, what did they lack? And they said, Lord, we lack nothing. Lord, Father God, let that be among your people. Let that be among the people in the body of Christ. Father God, let it be among the American people, Father God, who are in your kingdom. And Father God, even the people who are not, who are you going to bring in your kingdom, Father God, after this president election? So we just thank you, Father God, for, for being a God to us and being wonderful to us, Father God. Bless Miss Joyce, Father God. Take care of whatever she needs, Father God, and bless my brother Jerry Ross, Father God, whatever he needs. The Bible says you perfect that which concerns thee. So we thank you, Father God, for perfecting that which concerns thee. And we thank you, Father God, that we're going to be fine and we're going to walk on your divine plan. And no weapon formed against us will prosper, Father God. And every tongue that rises up against us in judgment, we shall condemn. We call, I just call the body of Christ, everybody in the body of Christ, successful in every area of life. We're healed, we're saved, we're delivered, we're financially prosperous. We're everything that we need to be to be a blessing to someone else. And we just thank you, Father God, even for this program. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen, and thank you so amen. much for the awesome prayer. Woo! See, I got a little, yeah. my, prayer, my prayer is short. It's like um, six lines. <laughs> <laughs> and I wrote it down. <laughs> but thank you. We need that because I always say this is praise and worship time. So everybody get your energy up high. Get to that high frequency mm -hmm. so you can't be attacked by your enemy because you got to be happy. And the only way to be happy yeah. is to continue to praise God, build your relationship, worship him, and join us at 10 o'clock every mm -hmm. night. We're going to make you laugh. We're going to play some great music. And you're going to hear some awesome mm -hmm. testimony. I guarantee you that. All right. So Joyce. Twist right. the faith walker. Did you feel the power? Yes, Jerry. I felt the power. She felt the power. She love more Piper. Did you feel the power? I did feel the power. She I felt did, the I power. Did, I did feel it. Yes, I did. How about Tashara? Tashara, did you feel the power? I know you out there. Earl White, did you feel the power? Tina Superwoman Hobson. Did you feel a power? Theodore Chestnut, did you feel a power? Kwame? And I know my brother is listening. He, he, I want to know, Kadre, did you feel the power? Yeah, <laughs> did he feel And what about Glenn Piper? I know he felt the power. He wrote that song. Yeah, he felt the power. Yeah. We appreciate everybody for tuning in. Praise Lord. Praise God in the sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty heavens. Praise Him for His mighty deeds. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Praise Him with trumpet and sound. Praise Him with flute and harp. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him. Praise him with sanding cymbals. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Praise and worship time is over, everybody. But you can listen to the show again. It's running on Facebook Live and also on Spreaker Radio. 
forward slash positive power 21 family god be with our family from the youngest to the oldest Amen. lighting up our relationships sowing grace into our troubles god be with our family Amen. bringing love into our work our rest and our play Amen. All right, everybody. Amen. You're listening to Jewel Slime Worldwide Podcast. Hi, this is Angel Sessions. When I'm in town, I listen to Jerry Jewel Live at CosmicPowerTour.org, where they play my favorite music. This is Brandon Royce, and you're listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide on CosmicPowerTour.org. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Paul G. Listening to Late Night with Jerry Voice Live at Positive Power Time. Can you feel the power? That's right. You tell them, Paula G. Can you feel the power? Don't forget, y'all, we'll be back here tomorrow night at 10 o'clock. And I think I do have another special guest. Let me find out who it is real quick. All right. There's no show tomorrow. I forgot. I'm going to see a jazz concert in D.C. featuring Lori Williams. The jazz vocalist, you can check her out at Lori Williams. I think it's Lori Williams Love. No, Lori Williams Sing. All right, check her out. Don't forget about Tashara. You can check her, her website also. And her website was. I can't remember her stuff like I used to. It was called TasharaSings.com, and I, and I put it out there already. Don't forget about Sheila Piper Moore. She has a website. In the Sheila Moore mm-hmm. Piper.com. I'll put it out there for you guys if you want to check it out. So I won't be here tomorrow. I'm going to miss y'all. But we will be here Friday at midnight rocking the music videos. So make sure you take a nap for those of you that's over 35. Joyce White. Yeah. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Good night, everybody. He's a healer, thank you for tuning mm-hmm. in. A deliverer, mm-hmm. a redeemer, and I gotta tell the world about him. Yes. Won't you help me tell him like this? Let's go. Like this. Here we go. Can I? Can I talk to you? I know you need a breakthrough. Praying for you night and day. Our God, Jesus, will make a way.
want you stop and look to see where God's directing you. Quickly listen to the words He's telling you. Open your heart to the path He's taking you. Just obey, see the blessings flow for you. For in this house we will truly serve the Lord and we'll say. To save you and raise you and take up your commission For he paid the price when he gave his own life on Calvary He died to save you and me All he wants is your life made more abundantly Be quick to hear and slow to speak Then you will know his love is real and it will appeal To your heart and mind and soul at times When you feel like giving up it gets hard sometimes But if you stop looking and listen His love will quicken your spiritual mind To want to give him some time Live Worldwide Podcast.